Google Moon allows anyone to explore the lunar surface. There's various images that you'll be able to see, some of which were taken during the famous moon landings. Google Moon has already mapped out areas like the famous Apollo landings, along with various other sites across the lunar surface. Someone that was exploring the lunar terrain though has discovered something unexpected. They said that they often look through Google Moon, but on this occasion found various structures, stating that they range from what appear to be large blocks, to elongated structures. Not much information can be found about the images taken, but the person who shared these images said this isn't the first time that strange things have been discovered on the moon, going on to say that people and groups that share these types of discoveries are always finding strange things on the lunar surface. One person said the following about the photograph, I don't think these are craters as you can see craters right next to this thing. In terms of how big it is, I'd say it's very big when compared to things around it. End quote. Other people who saw the photograph began to speculate whether this was something like water, noting that scientists have come forward in recent years and said that the moon holds water. Our moon has a rather bizarre phenomenon we're still trying to puzzle our way through. There's lunar water on the moon despite us not being able to observe a water cycle similar to ours on Earth. A recent study has reported clear evidence that there's water molecules on the surface of or held within the grains of the lunar soil. If we can research what kinds of water are available here, and precisely what that water is, then we may be able to fathom out the seemingly magical water cycle of the moon. Another study with groundbreaking revelations found small areas of the moon that are within a permanent shadow. This creates a cold enough environment for ice to form, with researchers saying that the space of these areas covers 15,400 square miles. Currently guesses indicate that the water cycle on the moon is carried through hydrogen in solar wind, and that's reacting with the oxygen on the surface. This is a stark contrast to our rain, rivers and seawater cycle here on Earth. Other suggestions have guessed that the lunar water travels, migrating to remain in a shadowed zone, as opposed to one with the sun. Exactly how this happens still requires plenty of further research. Jessica Sunshine, a University of Maryland planetary scientist, says that these new findings suggest a much more complex process than we thought before. The practical application once we figure this out would be remarkable. This research has useful implications as to how humans may be able to travel, not only to the moon but also further beyond. The next NASA mission, Artemis, aims to place the first woman and next man on the moon. If we can understand the moon's water cycle before then, then we may be able to convert the water into a resource for energy. One trial for the lunar water to withstand is the harsh climate of the moon, with a high of 121 degrees Celsius, and a more than chilly low minus of 133 degrees Celsius. It wouldn't be improbable for the water to evaporate, especially without a thick atmosphere but luckily for us, even in the sun there are still traces of water, though these are faint. Based upon current observations, there appears to be 12 ounces of lunar water to one cubic meter, meaning the water whilst existent is very sparse. This is 100 times drier than the Sahara Desert. While there is water present on the moon, we need to conduct more observations, more analysis and more research before we can take action with this discovery. Once we know a little more about this intricate process, we may need to implement some man-made intervention for this water to be used, due to its limited supply. This research is being referred to by some as the slow revolution. While new progress is being made, and we're slowly beginning to make a clearer picture, the tedious process could still take decades of more research. Researchers completing this project report that despite having a difficult job, the work is rewarding, 
and know that the findings will be worthwhile. It's not just water that's on the moon. Amateur researchers who have spent large amounts of time looking through old moon photographs have said they've discovered something strange. Right now though, there's a group of people asking Elon Musk to go to the moon and saying they want him to investigate a mysterious anomaly. Saying that whatever this thing is, it needs to be investigated as it looks like a giant ship. Comparing it to a Muamua, and even an advanced ship. Some of those who've seen the photograph have said it's real, and that this could be proof that something else has visited the moon. Interestingly, just recently, scientists have said that life may have made its way to our moon, and this was after a meteorite made contact with the lunar surface. Two senior planetary researchers said the moon actually has the correct conditions to support simple life forms, saying that these could have been present on the moon 4 billion years ago. Other amateur researchers have said it's entirely possible that something could have made contact with our moon, and that it may have been left behind, going on to say that this isn't the first time that something odd has been found here. NASA scientists though have said that this photograph doesn't show anything of interest, and that they've never found any evidence of life on the moon, further saying that the most likely explanation for these photographs is that they're just camera anomalies. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.